It's a very special schos and a special privilege for JFS to be honored by the presence of our Mayor Sternschlit of the Rosh Yeshiva, the Yeshiva Gadola of Paseyev. And at this time, I would like to ask him to please address us this morning. not really my position to welcome everybody here, but personally, it's very much appreciated. Everyone that's here, you should always be able to come together with other members of the community in good occasions, have nachas from each other, and give nachas to our in This week's Parsha, we laid an interesting posseh it says when you lend another yid money, a poor man money, and you take collateral for that loan, which is legitimate, and the collateral happens to be the only garment that he has that he can wear during the day. So the Pusik says that we must return that garment to him during the day and only have it at night, because that's his only garment that he has. And it says in the Pesach that in case the person doesn't do that, he doesn't return it by day, and the person cries out to Hashem, because Baruch Hu will hear his cry, and he'll answer his cry, and the Pesach said, because ki chanun on, because I have Amachanu. This word Chanun is repeated many times in our tefillahs every day. Rachum, Chanun. It doesn't say here, Ki Rachum on. The Pasik doesn't even criticize this person for not being passionate about this poor person. It doesn't threaten, in case he doesn't do this, he'll be severely punished. It says, if this poor man cries out, I'll hear his cry, Ki Chanun Oni, because I have Chanun. What's the difference between Rachum and Chanun? It doesn't say Rachum. Rachum is a beautiful attribute of a person, to have Rachmanis on a person that's never, he has problems, he's destitute, he's not well. Rachmanis is a beautiful, beautiful meter that a person could have, and a Kodesh Baruch is called Rachum, but it doesn't say here, Ki Rachum, on it. It says, Ki Chanun, on it. And the Ramban says, there's a big difference between Rachmanis and Chanino. Rachmanis means to be merciful, to be compassionate about a person, and therefore to help him, but it has limitations. It has limitations. We don't always have Rachmanis. Hanina is a different meter, a different attribute of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's without limitation. We have Rachmanis on a person, but we make Cheshbanis, we do. Is he a good person? Is he a worthy person? How much has he do, been doing to help himself? Maybe not enough. Maybe he's not such a Balmidus Tavis. And these things could limit our feelings of compassion. That's Rachmanis. In Chanina, there is no limitations. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Chanun. It, the root word of Chanun, the Ramban says, is the word Chinon. Chanun is when you have, you give a person gratis without any strings attached. There's a need, I have Rachmanis, not Rachmanis, I have Chanina to him, 
and therefore I'll help him out. Shomai tiki chanun on If a Kaddish Baruch is mechanen someone, then we really have to be careful and help this person out. When the Kaddish Baruch brought the marble in the beginning of creation, the whole world was destroyed. Men, women, children. There's only one exception. And that exception was Noyach. Why did Noyach deserve this single exception? Even children were destroyed. It, was, it wasn't a question of punishing people because they were evil. Children don't do Averis. They didn't deserve a punishment. It wasn't a punishment. Kodesh Baruch decided he has to change the Bria. It wasn't working where Kodesh Baruch planned, wanted it to work. Yeah, he had to make a second, a second edition of the Bria. When Kodesh Baruch destroys, destroys the entire Bria, that Anoshim, Noshim, Mataf, even children have to go. The single exception was Noyach. Why did Noyach get this exception? So it says in the Posik that Noyach Motza Chain Be'ene Hashem, the last Posik in Pasha's Gracious. The very next Posik, the first Posik in Pasha's Noyach, it says Noyach was Ish Tzadik Tomi. Noyach was a, a Tzadik, a perfect Tzadik. But for that reason alone, he wouldn't have been saved. Why was he saved? Because Noyach Motza Chain Be'ene Hashem. When someone is Motza Chain by someone, he finds favor in a person's eyes without any strings attached because there's a need. Such a person can get something that no other schus that he has can attain for him. Noyach was saved because Mozachain Bani Hashem. By the second year, a Kaddish Baruch was a Kael Rachum Bachanum. Rachum Bachanum a Kaddish Baruch means that every single person, every single person is Mozachain Bani Hashem. It's very interesting, we have Duchenin, we have Biches Kahanin, which we go to everyone who wants them, the families, to be zeichet, to hear Biches Kahanin. So there are six brachas in Biches Kahanin. Verechecha Hashem v'yishmerecha is two. Yoy Hashem p'on v'lecha b'chonecha is another two, that's four. Yisra Hashem p'on v'lecha b'yosei b'chosholim is another two, that's six. So the Mepharshim explained, Yivarecha Hashem is a bracha for Hatzlocha in Torah. The Yishvarecha is a bracha for Hatzlocha in children. Yoye Hashem Pana Balecha is a bracha for Chayim. We'll skip the Chonecha for a moment. Yisra Hashem Pana Balecha is a bracha for Panosa. Yosem Lecha Sholem is a bracha for Sholem. So we examine these six brachas. These were the basic requirements of every single person. We should have Hatzlocha in Torah. That's the first. We should have children. Hatzlocha nachas from our children. That's the second. Chaim. Chaim. Chaim on this world. Chaim on the next world. We can't get along without. We need Chaim. Then the last one. Yisro Hashem Tone Balechas Parnosa. So these five that we mentioned are really basic requirement that a person, every person desires, hopefully will get that. That, that is a birchus kahan. But I skipped one, birchu neko. We should be moitzichein, in a by Kodesh Baruch Hu, moitzichein. We should find favor in a Kodesh Baruch Hu's eyes, in people's eyes. Is that the same category as the other five? Really? Torah, Chaim, children, Parnosa, Sholoim, Without showing, all brachas don't do us any good. Those five are really the, the most basic needs of a person. One of, one of those brachas is Dich Bonega, who should be Meitzi Chain by Kodesh Baruch. Chain. The Meitzi Chain is that important, it's up there with the other basic requirements. That's the Mida of Chanah. I think that the mission statement of JFS, in one word, is Chan. Anybody, everybody, without any other strings attached, 
whether any, no matter, we hear worthy, no, that's not part of the Hajbainas. Any person in this community that has a need can come to JFS, and if they can supply it, they go out of their way to be behind every single person that comes. Chanu, that's a beautiful meter, that's a Kodesh Baruch Hu's meter, that's the meter of JFS. It's beautiful that everyone here is participating, recognizes this, and we should all be Zeich Atakot, but our meeting, Mechani and other people, we should find favor in the eyes of a Kodesh Baruch Enjoy the breakfast.